We actually don't know exactly what causes a central tremor. Uh, it is a inherited condition, so it runs in families. What we do know is that it's a problem in the motor circuit of the brain, so that rather than being able to perform smooth, accurate movements, uh, the movements are able to be performed, but there's a superimposed shaking uh, of, the, of the limb. As the tremor gets worse, uh, it makes it difficult to perform many sort of mundane or daily tasks that we take for granted. Uh, it's hard to write your name. It's difficult to use a keyboard on a computer or your phone. Uh, it becomes very difficult to drink from a cup uh, eat, uh, use a, a knife and fork without the food going all over the place. The central tremor can be treated either medically or surgically. The best medical treatment is either a beta blocker or primidone. Uh, these are both medicines that can be very helpful in reducing the tremor. Uh, when the medicines stop working, then patients can uh, be candidates for surgical intervention. The central tremor has been with us throughout time and historically in the past we made small lesions in the brain, in the motor circuit, to, to abolish the tremor. Uh, this required actually making an incision in the, in the head, drilling a hole in the skull, and uh, actually placing a radiofrequency probe down to a very specific target in the brain. Um, and then uh, with that electrode or probe in the brain, we would uh, stimulate and heat up the tissue to actually uh, ablate and cause a little lesion within this motor circuit. A focused ultrasound is a, a very new technology uh, that uh, allows about a th over a thousand tiny ultrasonic emitters to be focused at a single point source. The focused ultrasound emitters are encased in a helmet a, uh, basically a spherical helmet where all the ultrasonic emitters are pointed at a single point source. And when you activate all the emitters, you create energy at that point source. And that can actually heat up the tissue and ablate the tissue. The beauty of the procedure is that the patient does not require any uh, general anesthesia and it doesn't require any incision in the scalp or hole in the skull or actually instrumentation of their brain. So it's completely non-invasive. The effects on the quality of life in patients on whom we've treated is so dramatic. We actually see an abolition of the tremor of the hand while we're doing the treatment. And many patients just break into a smile when they look at their hand that isn't shaking. It's been shaking for years and years and years, and now they look at their hand and it's still, and they can move it exactly as how they want to and a big smile comes over their face. Uh, that's, a, that's a pretty remarkable achievement.